Hello everyone, welcome to the monthly update of the crazy project where I am mining an entire world. I want to start by saying that uh, we kinda achieved both of the goals. One of the goals was mining, or better, draining this river, it was one of the last bodies of water and if you look at the map, indeed we achieve it. And I know, I am just teasing you, I will show you a map with the original 1000 by 1000 parameter, don't worry, I'm just teasing you and I will show you it a little bit later. The other objective was to mine more than a half, oh no, not more than a half. We would reach the five and a half million blocks mined. And we did it. You can see right now on your screen where we are. And looking at the statistics, uh, the distribution is getting, well, well uh, very heavy on the stone. I needed some point to go to the deep slate and start digging more deep slate. B but that's uh, uh, another issue. So both of the goals are fulfilled which leaves probably to the question where do i want to go next well i want to put on the month of april the mark of seven million blocks mine it's more than a million in a single month and that's a lot because april is going to be a very busy month for me i'm going to get married on the on may so i probably need to attend a lot of stuff it's a big goal, trust me, it's a big goal. The other one is I would like to mine more in this area to expose and drain that aquifer. Preferentially in the end of April, that aquifer that we just found out, it's gone. It, it, it's really gone, no more aquifer there and the last one might be one that is very, very deep under that mountain. It's, I have been plagued by aquifers in this world. So... Goals uh, explain, goal set, let's now go a little bit to my base of operations because it has been a while since I did one of those back office episodes where I show you my base and a couple of you have actually asked me if I could show uh, my storage, uh, the blocks that I have mined and uh, how I store them and uh, of course I can, this is my storage. <laughs> Uh, it is modular as you guys can see so uh, if I want to extend it I just need to do some pillars and another floor like this and every floor essentially is full of chests. Uh, this is the fourth floor. It only contains dirt and stone. Uh, this is rows and rows of stone. Yeah, I, I, I am currently somewhere on this one over here. Uh, this one uh this one yeah i use this stone to trade with masons to repair the tools and uh, you know what you don't even need to take my word for it i can just show you how i do it i i pick it, pick up stone then i i go up here i pick up uh, the tool that i want to repair i i Keep the tool on my hand and then over here we have the masons. Uh, they are very good guys, they, they are very helpful. I just came here, I trade a bunch of emeralds with these guys, uh, like this. Then I come here and I, I just trade for quartz, uh, something like this. I, I do this process a couple of times and by the way, I don't only trade stone, I also trade the granite. Uh, this one has the andesite and the diorite and there is a mix on the other ones. So uh, yeah, the, this is how I mostly repair the tools. Uh, then I have here the smelting operation which uh, has been less than optimal. I, I don't know what is happening with copper or, or rather I know what is happening. It's just uh, copper seems to keep coming. I have these two chests over here which is the next uh, blocks that I want to put on the smelt. And over here I have already... Uh, this row, it's all coal uh, and copper, so uh, these two rows, coal and copper. Then, uh, over here we have uh, gold, not that much to be honest, over here, lapis and redstone, and those ones, by the way, uh, are, are, are empty. Uh, these two rows will be the iron, the gold and the copper and coal. This one, redstone and lapis, this one, only diamonds and emeralds. Uh, diamonds, by the way, uh, we have already found uh, a couple uh, by mining the the ends, uh, the end, the, not the end, the bottom of the old fold, the aquifer. There is a lot of diamonds in, in the aquifers. I don't know why, but there was really a lot. Most of those came from there because the other ones that I branch mined uh, essentially were used to make uh, this armor, these tools and I have a little bit more over here. And since I am showing you stuff, um, yeah, since I am here, maybe not a lost. 
In here I have the blaze rods that I use to uh, dry the sponges when I am uh, essentially draining stuff. Over here I, I kinda kept the totems of undying and stuff from raids that I accidentally trigger. I, I was a moron. It's not happening so much right now, but sometimes it happens in the past. Over here I have more or less um, some miscellaneous things that I have uh, collected across the adventures. Um, yeah, some of my uh, possessions, uh, there you go. And over here I have essentially the rockets to, to, to move around. Uh, quartz, I have uh, already all of the... Uh, not this one, uh, where are it? Where is it? Uh, over here, a lot of quartz. Uh, this side over here is more or less the miscellaneous blocks. It's the blocks that I, I don't use and I am trying to organize them because for instance uh, these ones I have used, but if I came here, I have zero uses for snow. What I'm doing is to pick up those blocks and I am moving them up to other uh, floors of the storage. That way I have uh, that space for granite, there, right and then the site. Uh, meanwhile, let me just sleep very quickly and let, let's keep going the tour. So another interesting question that I have is if the iron farm is, uh, is working and yes, it is still working to this day. I don't know why there are no iron golems spawning right now, but uh, if we come over here, yeah, it's more than overflowing. I basically don't touch it for a while and I mostly use that iron in case I need to do buckets because the iron that I actually mine, I, I want to store it just to have a, a measure of how much iron does exist exist in the world and um, with all of these the last thing that I need to show you is my uh, armory I have uh, this bow it was the first infinity bow that we have it was a very good bow and then I have uh, these two bows over here already online when this one got a little bit uh, more uh, warm out I have uh, the three tridents another elytra and to be honest I have other elytra that I showed you I, I have just not yet enchanted it but uh, yes it does exist and uh, yeah, this more or less concludes the tour on my basis of operations, for those of you that are curious. And the last thing that I want to show you is of course this image. This is the map and the orange is the delimiter of the original 1000 by 1000. As you guys can see, um, yeah, the, 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 there is still a lot of work that we need to do and uh, we are going to do it. Uh, it's going to be a lifetime project. Anyway, just to keep very clear, I am going to fulfill the original 1000 by 1000 and after that we will keep pushing and we will mine as much as we can before the world gets corrupted, YouTube got shut down or I die of old age. This is the goal and the purpose of the channel. And yep, yeah, next month there will be another update. Leave me questions if you want them answered. I again am going to keep these videos very unedited because I, I don't want to keep, uh, well, I don't want to lose uh, time in, in the project, so that, that's why the videos are not edited. But anyway, let me know uh, if you have ideas or, or ways that I can quickly improve the videos. I'm always up to improvements. Thank you so much, guys, for the continued support on the project. I really hope that you are enjoying, and I also hope to see you on the next one.